Five clients and their dependents, totaling 15 people, lost benefits because Rhode Island's new computer system mistakenly classified them as dead. It's the latest glitch in a long series of problems with UHIP. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell has been tracking the story for months. She just spoke with the governor about changes to improve the customer service. She joins us now with an update. The governor says she's shuffling management from other agencies to work on this issue. She says she's also going to hire dozens of temporary employees. The lines are still long and the system glitches continue. The latest affecting five clients who lost benefits because the computer system said they were dead. People deserve better. So Governor Gina Raimondo said she's adding employees and also Saturday hours at the Warwick and Pawtucket DHS field offices. A few months from now, we're going to be in a much better place than we are now. And these are the steps we're taking to get us there. As we've reported, 70 DHS employees, mostly social workers, were laid off. Now the governor wants to hire 35 temporary employees to help staff DHS offices. We underestimated how much uh, people power we would need with the new technology. Uh, and I think it also shows that the team, uh, you know, probably made a mistake in not doing this sooner. We also asked the governor about Deloitte, the company that built the $364 million system that still has about 1,600 defects. They know very well that we're disappointed. Um, I haven't ruled out any steps at this point uh, in terms of changing their contract or reducing what they're going to be paid. Uh, and they know they have to continue to step up and deliver. A spokesperson for the Department of Administration tells us there's no cost estimate for the additional employees. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.